Hello there everyone and welcome back to Denver. Um, originally we're, we were going to do a double header here at Denver yesterday, but unfortunately after the first event here, the rain started pouring down on the track and we had to postpone the race to today. So we are back here in Denver some, for some road course action as Cody Goforth and Mitchell Collins is on your front row. It was a wild race during the um the oval the oval um or the oval version of this track. But we see another one like that today. The green flag is out. A great start by the 15 right there. Already three wide. Borsalov Konstantinovich already being aggressive. We talked to him pre-race and he said he's gonna do everything he can in his power to try and win this. He was really upset after wrecking out earlier. He got a bit sideways right there. Is there still three wide for a second? Everyone got into that corner, all right. They're three wide back here, bouncing off of each other as Mitchell Connors in the six is dropping back. And they have now settled it, to, settled it to two wide. Back here, three wide right here. More three wide racing car in the grass. That's Wade Brummer in the 26. It's still three wide. Some really hard racing here. No one wants to give an inch. A lot of drivers getting sideways off that corner right there. But as we make our way back up front, is Cody Goforth in the 15. <laughs> Seen the lead for the first time, I believe. He has a gap over second place. Gary Barlow, who won the second event out at Orange Show. Gary Barlow trying to be the second driver to get two wins. And he's going to slide way off in the grass right there. And he's going to lose two positions, if not three. Here comes Mitchell Collins in the six. There's a lot of um, cloud around the racetrack. But um, he's going to get an onboard, onboard look here. But hopefully the rain will stay off the track. We're gonna make sure everyone gets out of this turn all right. And it looks like they did. Not really any side-by-side -side racing right now. They are single file for the most part. Mitchell Collins, here he comes, trying to make a move underneath Ben Crouch in the 03. It's kind of a two-car breakaway now from everyone else. Borsalov Konstantinovich trying to hunt down Cody Goforth into 15. This is a, as you can see, the cloud over there in the distance. Borsalov definitely got a really good run down into that corner. He's definitely there. And the 15 is going to overdrive it just a bit. Yes, he is. As here comes Konstantinovic challenging for the lead. And with the lead, new leader, Borsalov Konstantinovic, he's going to take the lead here. Guys like Nathan Fisher and even Dylan Young, I'm surprised these guys are back here. Dylan Young doesn't seem to have quite adapt to, to how these drivers are racing around him here. As I mentioned, Young does have some experience in the cup. So it's definitely shocking me. Maybe it's the car. But hoping that team can do something next race or if not later on in the season. Still plenty of racing left for the season. Side by side battle right here. Philip Papur and Mitchell Collins battle for um, the fifth position, I believe it is. And a car, not more cars, way off in the grass. Cody Goforth again overshoots the corner. And now he's going to have have to answer to Gary Barlow in the 11 right there. Edward Mendez in the 4. He's going to go by Philip Rapura in the 99. So we are still green going down into the corner here. It's Konstantinovich in the 0 out front. There's a big gap between him and the 15 who has pressure from behind him. 11 of Gary Barlow, as I mentioned, already has a win this season. I just beat my gum right there. Um, Barlow, who already has a win, along with the guy next, all right behind him, his teammate, Stephen Wallace Jr., who's trying to sweep Denver. We'll see what happens here. Side by side battle for a second, three car battle for a second position here. More side by saddle, side by side battle as the race goes on. I forgot to um, turn off cautions for the road courses. A lot of drivers seem to be catching that dirt right there. Bunch of to 
Toyotas, let's see. Um, Toyota currently running first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth. So Toyota's all in the top five, and it's been Toyota. Um, a Toyota has won every race so far. So once again, Toyota seems to be dominating the first half here of the Pro Series. And right now, Borsalov Konstantinovich in the zero, leading. That's gonna, we're going to ride a rear from the zero here. Gary Barlow once again overshoots the corner. Some better right kick back here. Can anyone catch Konstantinovich? He's so far out front. Gonna keep an eye on this corner here. As you can see right there, the 11 overshoot the corner. Dylan Young, he makes a move and he's gonna move up to 16th now as he just went past Barbell Jones right there to 17, who isn't having such a good run right here today. 26 of Wade Bremer, we haven't talked much about him this season. E2 in the back. Right on board one of these drivers here, Ben Crouch in the 03. Crouch is just going to drive it in right there as he's going to go underneath the um, 7 of Christian Russell right there. Or going to try to go underneath him. And a man that's trying to follow. So you go back up to the front. It's still Konstantinovic in the zero, your leader. They come around this time by, it'll be three laps to go. Watch these guys diving down into the corners here, the S's. Pretty clean race so far. No wrecks, we've seen a lot of drivers go off-road, but other than that, it's been a pretty smooth sailing race. Right here, Stephen Wallace Jr. trying to go underneath, or uh, Ben Crouch trying to go underneath Stephen Wallace Jr. And he's gonna get a position right there. Konstantinovich just has to not overshoot any of the corners because that happens these guys can catch him really quick Co Toyota continues to dominate the top five and now the top six then you go, go to the Ford of um, Ben Crouch in the L3 another Toyota of Steven, Steven Wallace Jr. Philip Papura and then the Chevy of Patrick Z in the away, currently running 10, batting with another Chevy here, Peter Onjak. So, about 17 car lengths separates the leader from Cody Gofor. That's a big lead. Look at that. He's they definitely have the right setup for this track, as you can see. Next time by it will be two laps to go for Konstantinovich. Now the last couple races we've seen, well not counting the last race, we've seen the guy who's dominated ended up getting past in the last lap or two. So anything can happen, I would not count out these drivers yet. These guys right now trying to get as much grounds as they can. Christian Russell trying to go underneath the six of uh, Mitchell Collins. Car off into, into the grass right there. That was the one of um, Stephen Wallace Jr. who won earlier or won yesterday. As he currently runs seventh and it's probably going to be eighth now when he crosses the line. But it's just smooth sailing for this young man right here, Konstantinovich. Who. Ever since we saw um, saw him over in the dirt series, he's gonna overshoot the corner right there. He was uh, he showed potential, so it's not surprising to see this young man right here do really well here in the Can-Am Pro Series Western Division. Cody Goforth has pulled the gap on Gary Barlow, who runs third. Goforth now has his eyes set on the leader. He just wants that zero to make a mistake so bad. Just has to be really careful not to get turned. Christian Russell under pressure from um from uh, the six of Mitchell Collins right there. Who's all over his back bumper. And here comes Collins now trying to go underneath for the fourth position. He's 
guys aren't even letting up off the gas. So it's been a pretty clean and decent race so far. Bravo Jones shows last a couple laps ago. He's moving his way up the order. I see he's going to go by the eight right there. Lim Young trying to do the same. Going to ride on board the five here. Five, a former dirt champion currently runs in the back here and it looks like the 15 has caught up to that zero just a little bit it was it was 1.7 seconds the last time by and now the previous time by is one point is almost less than a second so they're definitely catching the zero of Konstantinovich here again he pull it off however try to keep the lead he's dominated and he's looking to do the same thing Stephen Wallace jr. did Toyota has just been so dominant in both the East and Western division here. And right now they're trying to look out to close out another win. Trying to look to close out another win. And right there you see the 15 is driving it in. He has one more lap to do it. As the white flag is going to be displayed this time by for Borsalov Konstantinovich. Here at the Denver Road Course. See it was less than a second that time by. Now these guys have one lap to try and catch him. It looks like we're going to finish this thing under green. So now we're just going to watch these three drivers and see what happened. Borsalov, he cannot mess up at all. You see Gary Barlow right there. He drove it in deep and now he's going to battle side by side for a second. Here comes the 11. But this is not what they need to do as it's going to just going to allow the zero to keep the lead if they want to catch him they're gonna need to settle this really quick here the 11 could not clear as cody go forth holds on to the second position everyone is still on track no rex side by side right battle right here between zayden davison and edward mendez As we go back up to the lead, these two right here, that is Gary Barlow, he has his eyes set on second place. He's not letting go forth out of his sight at all. As we get to the oval part of the track, they're running out of time as Konstantinovich pulled the gap big time right there. And that might, might just do it there. So we're into the final stretch here. As he going through the final S's and out of the final corner, he's finally going to do it as Konstantinovich in the zero is going to dominate and win it here at the Denver Road Course. And Goforth was able to hang on to second position over Gary Barlow. So congratulations to Borsalov Konstantinovich. Toyota continues to show their dominance here in the Pro Series as Konstantinovich scores his first one of the season. Cody go for second, Gary Barlow third, Christian Russell fourth, Mitchell Collins sixth, Philip Papora sixth, or uh, Mitchell Collins fifth, Philip Papora sixth, Peter Onjak seventh, Stephen Wallace Jr. eighth, Patrick Z ninth, and Bobo Jones finishes off in the top ten. Guys like Desmond Allen, Nathan Fisher, those guys I'm surprised are just haven't really been showing speed here this season. But congratulations to the Zero and the entire team. Let's get you down to victory lane where Borsalov Konstantinovich will celebrate his first ever Pro Series win, I believe it is. I think we have one more road course to to go after this if I'm not mistaken so thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next race as we head to Colorado National Speedway 
and then on to Sonoma. Yeah, so we do have another um, road course coming up pretty soon. So thank you guys for watching. Let's get you down to Victory Lane.